Welcome, I'm with the legendary Armin van Buren right here in Dubai, the beautiful Burj Khalifa, as we reveal untold Dubai right here in this city. Armin, how are you? Welcome, I said it to you earlier, you're basically a resident here. Uh, yeah, kind of, yeah, I spend a lot of time in Dubai. Yeah. yeah. You, you spoke about a beautiful history and relationship that you have with Dubai. Tell me about that and how, how this city has just been so beautiful for you. I uh, remember coming here since, uh, the first time in 2006, playing my first show, and I already felt that something was in the air. At that point, parties were only, uh, I think, in, uh, like, in hotels and stuff, and, but the energy was so unreal. And there was a lot of people coming from countries like uh, Beirut, uh, like Abu Dhabi, uh, even from Egypt. Like, there's so many fans, you know, and uh, I was really blown away by it. So I've been coming back to Dubai pretty much every year, uh, and I saw the, the nightlife grow, you know, uh, it became way more professional. Also, I love to come here because like, you guys have such amazing food, for example. Like some of the world's best restaurants are here. Um, and then it's a really great time to spend with your family. I, I noticed how great this country is for just having a holiday. So actually I was here celebrating New Year's Eve, not because of the gig I played, but I brought my parents. I brought my brother and his new girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I brought my kids and we, we were spending time in the Sofitel Hotel on the Dubai Marina. Mm -hmm. And we had such an amazing time. It was so great. I mean, what I love about Dubai is everything's a, a stone throw walk. So for example, my parents are a little older, so they could walk to like a coffee shop or go to the beach or get a massage and everything's here and the quality of service is just amazing. And then, uh, yeah, just playing here is like a breeze. I'm, I'm never nervous when I have to play Dubai because people are just so energetic, giving, you know, giving everything. And, and like I said, there's so many fans coming from all over the Middle East and even beyond. To, to witness the show. So yeah, I think uh, that, that's a very special, I love, I love coming here, it's a very special relationship. And I know you could go on and tell us yeah. for hours and hours how much you love Dubai. It is the best in the world. And speaking of number ones in the world, the first festival here in Dubai, Untold. What a beautiful, beautiful movement to bring to the city, a country that needs it and wants it and yearns for it. Tell me about how that all came about and the relationship with you and Untold. Well, I want to stress that Untold is not my festival. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I have a very special relationship with the people from Untold. Of course, everybody can throw a party, but Untold does it really well. Uh, but the party is never made by the production. The party is always made by the people. And th this is pretty standard to say maybe, but you can have the biggest production in the world. But if the people are not having a good time, it's not going to work. Um, and Untold, I've played Untold only five times. But all these sets were legendary because I had such a, so much fun, you know. Yeah. So when I, when I go and play an Untold set, I'm not like, oh, what do I have to play? I'm stressed. No, I'm just like, oh, I can't wait to share this music with the people because these people are really there for the, for the music. And you know why? Um, because the first two hours of my show, I play in the dark. So it's more easy. You have the production behind you and the LEDs and everything great, looking great. So that helps, it helps the show, helps the atmosphere. Then it gets light and people are dancing in the, in the sunlight. You know, this is more difficult because you don't have like, a big LED screen to rely on or pyrotechnics uh, but the people in, uh, at, in Romania stay and they're there for the music they're there to celebrate the music you know with each other and this year for my for my performance at the, the uh, adult in Cluj in Romania I'm going to do something special by bringing the audience closer to me because I want to be with the people you know I'm I'm not like the leader or something I'm just a guy playing the music but I want to enjoy myself just as much as the crowd is and now we're bringing that atmosphere to Dubai. So uh, you know my relationship with Dubai, you know my relationship with Untold. So it's, for me, it's one and one is three. Yeah, it's a no brainer. It's right. just come together beautifully. You spoke about the people, the humans, the, the interaction. You speak heavily about the emotion behind your music. Tell me about that because you've been in the game for a while now. Has that emotion changed and evolved over time? Um, well, th the emotion for me, I, I'm like I said in the little movie, I'm always looking for that emotion in myself. And you don't always resonate with other people. Like I may like a piece of music that you don't like, or you may like a piece of music that I don't like, but I'm trying to find uh, the music that I really like, but also resonates with the crowd. So I'm not just playing the hits. I'm playing music that I want to tell a story with my music and I want to you know, bring the emotion to the people. It's kind of hard to put it into words. It's kind of something you have to see and feel when it actually happens. but. That's what I do. I mean, otherwise you can put iTunes on shuffle or Spotify on shuffle. Uh, what's the difference between Spotify and shuffle and, our, and a DJ? That's you read the crowd and based on what you see in the crowd, you're going to interact. Of course, you can grab the microphone, but this is not the key element for me. 
for me the key element is trying to read the crowd and surprise them take them on a journey let them have a good time uh, let them bring some new music surprise them with old classics with new versions trying to give energy to the people dance together uh, you know doing a little countdown or waving with your arms or just giving the people a good time and lastly, with the people, I mean, you're a role model to so many. You coming to Dubai is going to open the eyes of so many young artists and DJs who want to be doing what you're doing. Advice for any kids out there that want to be the next Armin van Buren? Um, well, the, the, the best advice I can give you is to teach yourself uh, how to you make your own music. Uh, don't try to copy me. I mean, I, there's, there's, it's easy to, to look at how I make my music because there's all kinds of tutorials online. I've done a master class. I recently made a track online uh, for fans to see on my YouTube channel, uh, which was a lot of fun to do. It's good to watch and to get that knowledge, but try to put something of yourself into the music, something that is unique, something that hasn't been heard before. Of course, if you make a track, it's, it's wise to make a track that other DJs want to play. Your quickest way to the top is to make a track that appeals to other people, that, that people can sing along to or dance to, or that has something recognizable. Um, and yeah, that, that's probably your best bet. Amazing. Well, look, we are so looking forward to Untold and we will see you in February. Thank you so much for your time. Awesome. Thank you Thank so much. You. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Armin Van Buren. I'm so excited for Untold Dubai in February 24. You are watching DXB Today.